Let's walk on the wise path. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that might just blow your mind. Have you ever wondered why some knowledge seems to be locked away in secret circles, just out of reach for most people? What if I told you that this hidden wisdom could change everything you thought you knew about the universe, spirituality, and even science? Today, we're going to explore an extraordinary idea, the belief that the Spirit of God might be connected to a specific frequency. Yes, you heard that right frequencies and vibrations, just like the ones in music, but with a twist that ties back to ancient civilizations and cutting-edge science. Imagine this, ancient cultures had these sacred methods of harnessing vibrational energy to impact both the physical and spiritual realms. These techniques were so powerful and potentially dangerous that they were closely guarded secrets. Fast forward to today, and we're finding that modern science is catching up with these ancient insights. We'll uncover how researchers are investigating these vibrational methods and what they've discovered about their potential to transform medicine and our understanding of spirituality. We'll also delve into the contributions of iconic figures like Nikola Tesla and how their ideas about energy and frequency might just be the key to unlocking new dimensions of human potential. So buckle up, because this journey into the intersection of ancient wisdom and modern science is going to be nothing short of eye-opening. Stay tuned as we unravel how the Spirit of God and the magic of frequencies might just be more intertwined than we ever imagined. 1. Ancient Secrets and Modern Science Let's take a journey back in time to explore the fascinating world of ancient civilizations and their sacred vibrational methods. These ancient cultures possessed an intricate understanding of frequencies and vibrations that they used to influence both physical and spiritual states. This knowledge wasn't just casual folklore, it was a sophisticated system that they believed could manipulate the very essence of existence. Why the secrecy? The ancients were deeply aware of the power they were handling. They believed that these vibrational methods had the potential to create profound changes, both positive and negative. As a result, this knowledge was carefully guarded and passed down through secret societies and esoteric orders. The fear was that if this power fell into the wrong hands, it could lead to significant harm or chaos. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we find ourselves at a remarkable intersection where ancient wisdom meets modern science. Researchers are now revisiting these ancient techniques with a fresh perspective, armed with advanced technology and a deep curiosity. Modern science is beginning to validate some of these ancient claims. For instance, scientists are exploring how specific frequencies can affect microorganisms, potentially leading to new treatments for diseases. Imagine the possibilities using sound waves to heal the body, influence mental states, or even impact the environment. The convergence of ancient knowledge and modern science opens up exciting new avenues for understanding how vibrational methods can be applied in practical, transformative ways. It's a thrilling time to be exploring these frontiers. 2. The Magic Frequency Now, let's dive into one of the most intriguing concepts in this exploration, the magic frequency. This isn't some mystical mumbo-jumbo. It's grounded in scientific principles that are both fascinating and profound. The magic frequency refers to a specific vibration that can induce resonance in living organisms, potentially leading to their destruction. To grasp this concept, think of it like this. You know how a crystal glass can shatter when exposed to the right musical note? That's resonance in action. In the world of vibrational science, similar principles apply. When an organism is exposed to a frequency that matches its natural resonant frequency, it can experience a profound impact much like that glass. Dr. James Baer, an innovative researcher from Albuquerque, New Mexico, developed a device designed to harness this principle. His resonant frequency therapy device emits pulses at various frequencies, carefully tuned to match the natural resonant frequency of specific organisms or cells. This approach is akin to tuning a musical instrument to hit the exact right note. The implications of this technology are fascinating. 
by using specific frequencies, it's possible to target and disrupt harmful microorganisms without harming healthy cells. This opens up possibilities for new medical treatments and therapies that could revolutionize how we approach diseases. It's a perfect example of how ancient ideas and modern technology can come together to create groundbreaking advancements. 3. Nikola Tesla and Vibration Let's talk about Nikola Tesla, one of the most brilliant minds in the history of science and engineering. Tesla was a pioneer in understanding the role of energy, frequency, and vibration in the universe. He proposed that everything in creation has its own primary resonant frequency, and if we could identify and manipulate these frequencies, we could unlock powerful potentials. Tesla's insights were revolutionary. He envisioned a world where energy could be harnessed and transmitted through vibrations, a concept that was far ahead of his time. He believed that understanding these frequencies could reveal the secrets of the universe and lead to incredible advancements in technology and human potential. Recent research has been catching up with Tesla's visionary ideas. Studies have shown that specific frequencies can affect biological processes in profound ways. For example, certain frequencies have been found to target and destroy cancer cells, leading to potential new treatments for this devastating disease. Tesla's work laid the foundation for many of the advances we're seeing today. His emphasis on thinking in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration is guiding current research and opening new doors in medicine, technology, and our understanding of the universe. It's incredible to think how his ideas from over a century ago are still influencing cutting-edge science today. 4. Royal Raymond Reif Let's dive into the fascinating work of Royal Raymond Reif, another key figure in the exploration of vibrational science. Reif was an early researcher who made significant strides in understanding how specific frequencies could be used to treat diseases. His discoveries were groundbreaking and paved the way for future research in the field. Reif developed a technology that used sound and resonance to target and destroy pathogens. His approach involved using specific frequencies to induce resonant vibrations in microorganisms, leading to their destruction. This concept is similar to how certain frequencies can shatter a glass. By tuning to the right frequency, Reif's technology could effectively target and neutralize harmful bacteria and viruses. What's particularly exciting about Reif's work is its potential for medical applications. Imagine a future where diseases could be treated using precise sound frequencies instead of invasive procedures or harsh chemicals. This approach offers a less invasive, more targeted method for treating illnesses, which could revolutionize the field of medicine. Reif's pioneering work continues to inspire researchers and innovators today. His techniques and ideas are being revisited and expanded upon, showing how foundational research can lead to new discoveries and advancements. It's a testament to the power of thinking outside the box and exploring unconventional methods to solve complex problems. 5 sound and creation. Let's take a moment to explore the profound idea that sound and vibration might be central to the creation of the universe. Nikolai Tesla suggested that the universe was created through sound, and this idea isn't just limited to science. It's echoed in various cultural and spiritual beliefs. Ancient Egyptian and Australian Aboriginal traditions both speak of the universe being sung into existence. These cultures had a deep understanding of the role of sound and resonance in creation, and their beliefs align remarkably well with modern scientific theories. It's like they had their own version of cosmic music that shaped the fabric of reality. In these ancient traditions, sound was not just a phenomenon, but a fundamental force in the universe. Temples and pyramids were built in locations with specific vibrational qualities, chosen to amplify and channel spiritual energies, this practice reflects a profound understanding of the interplay between sound, vibration, and spiritual power. Today, we're beginning to see how these ancient insights align with scientific discoveries. The idea that the universe itself might be a manifestation of sound and vibration offers a new perspective on our understanding of reality. It suggests that what we perceive as spiritual or divine 
might actually be a reflection of fundamental vibrational principles. 6. Sacred Structures and Spiritual Power Let's delve into the fascinating world of sacred structures and their connection to vibrational science. Ancient temples, pyramids, and other monuments weren't just built for religious purposes, they were carefully designed to harness and amplify specific vibrational qualities. These sacred sites were often constructed in locations with unique vibrational properties. The idea was to choose places that could enhance and channel spiritual energies, creating points of power and influence. This practice was deeply rooted in the knowledge of vibrational science and sacred geometry. For example, the pyramids of Egypt are thought to have been built with precise knowledge of the Earth's vibrational field. They were aligned with celestial bodies, and designed to interact with the natural energies of the Earth. This alignment allowed them to serve as powerful centers of spiritual and energetic activity. The construction of sacred structures reflects a sophisticated understanding of how vibrations and energies can be harnessed and directed. It's a testament to the ancient civilization's deep knowledge of vibrational principles and their ability to integrate these insights into their architectural and spiritual practices. 7. Jesuit Priests and Vibrational Science Even Jesuit priests and other spiritual leaders were trained in vibrational sciences to detect subtle radiations and energies. They used this knowledge to find water, test the edibility of food, and identify medicinal plants. This wasn't just spiritual mumbo-jumbo, it had practical applications that bridged the gap between spiritual practices and vibrational frequencies. This new perspective on the Spirit of God and vibrational frequencies challenges our preconceived notions of spirituality. It opens pathways to a deeper understanding of the interconnection between the physical and metaphysical. As science continues to explore these domains, we might be on the verge of a revolution in how we understand our relationship with the divine and the universe around us. 8. Sacred Geometry and Energy Centers Exploring human potential through vibrational methods reveals a profound connection to sacred geometry and the body's energy centers. Ancient civilizations studied this relationship, and modern science is now scrutinizing it, offering a new perspective on our ability to interact with the universe's frequencies. Sacred geometry proposes that certain geometric shapes are fundamental to creation and can be used to activate and stabilize elevated states of consciousness. The body's energy centers, known as chakras, are focal points in this intersection between geometry and human energy. These centers can be activated through specific meditation and yoga techniques. 9. Practical Applications So, how can you incorporate these techniques into your everyday life? It starts with simple exercises for energy awareness. One fundamental method involves activating three specific energy centers, one above the head and two above the shoulders. By mentally connecting these points with lines of light, you create a two-dimensional triangle of divine light. This practice has the potential to dissipate harmful thought forms and catalyze powerful forces of spiritual awakening. Dowsing, or sensitivity to subtle radiations, offers surprising practical applications. Historically, Jesuit priests used vibrational methods to locate potable water, test the edibility of food, and identify medicinal plants. These practices can be adapted for everyday use, allowing modern practitioners to connect more deeply with their environment and intuitively understand the energies surrounding them. 10. Music and Consciousness Now, let's bring it all back to something we all love music. Specific sound frequencies like delta, Theta and Alpha can influence physical and mental states. They provide a direct path to altering states of consciousness and promoting overall well-being. Think of it as tuning your mind and body to the perfect frequency, just like tuning a radio to your favorite station. As we move into a new era of consciousness, sacred vibrational methods emerge as catalysts for a revolution in our understanding of the universe and ourselves. These ancient techniques, now under the scrutiny of modern science, offer transformative possibilities for humanity's future. 
integrating this knowledge into various fields such as medicine, technology, and personal development promises to trigger a quantum leap in our collective evolution. So, if this video resonated with you, pun intended, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts and share your experiences. And if you're curious to explore more, check out the link in the comments for an audio package designed to help you tap into these frequencies. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the mysteries of our universe. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember sometimes the Spirit of God is not what you think.